Classified, Subject 0261, written by Boris Basic, narrated by Brandon Dayton. Classified, Subject 0261. The following information is classified and reserved for the research team only. Subject, 0261. Name, Redacted. Age, 27. Blood type, B positive. Drug Administration. Subject has been administered dose of Redacted. Description. Subject possesses the appearance of a normal human, with the exception of pale skin. The mental capabilities of the subject have deteriorated somewhat, however intelligent thinking is still present. History. Subject was captured and brought into the facility 108 days ago. Initial transportation went smoothly, however, as the experimentation progressed, more and more staff member deaths occurred. Total fatality count is unknown, however, more than 37 staff members or other subjects are unaccounted for. Day 1 Upon receiving the drug, subject initially showed no signs of change. During the incubation period, he kept begging the researchers to let him go home. Day 3 Subject spends most of his time sleeping and occasionally calling out to his captors. Day 5 When the security unit went to escort the subject to the shower room, he plunged a makeshift knife into one of the guards, instantly killing him. He was restrained and placed back in the cell. The security guards who were in charge of monitoring the subject's cell had been disposed of, due to not noticing the subject making a weapon. Day 8. Subject's skin growing increasingly pale. There is a noticeable drop in weight as well. Day 9. Subject has been complaining about a loss of appetite. All the food given to him was either half ingested or left fully untouched. He spends a lot of time sitting catatonically and mumbling incoherent and nonsensical sentences to himself. Day 10. During the morning examination, Subject assaulted and killed one of the researchers by biting his neck. The others escaped before he could attack them. At first, Subject showed visible signs of regret, but then proceeded to devour the researcher's body. He continued sitting catatonically for the rest of the day. Day 13. Subject continues muttering to himself almost all day. He may be suffering due to extreme isolation and shock from killing the scientist. Some of the words he keeps repeating are, didn't mean to, I'm sorry, he deserved it, what's going on, etc. Day 14. Subject has lost the ability to absorb nutrients from regular meals, even via IV. Not only that, but regular food seems to disgust him. Due to this, he's given raw meat. It seems to be the only food he enjoys eating. Day 15. Subject's strength is growing. During the morning examination, he managed to tackle the security guard and kill all the staff members in the room. One guard and three researchers. The deaths of the researchers could have been prevented, however, testing of the subject's physical capabilities was necessary. Day 24. Subject's strength continues to grow. His consumption of meat is increasing, and animal meat no longer seems to satisfy him. He is being supplied with one live specimen daily, other test subjects who are brought here under the pretense of a social experiment being conducted. Observation. Upon entering the cell, subject spends a minute or so staring at his prey. Usually he lacks response or any social interaction to the given questions and proceeds to simply attack the victims most often killing them with a bite to the neck. Day 31. Subject's personality has further deteriorated, and he seems to have only a semblance of intelligent thinking remaining. This pertains to acting like a normal human in order to catch his prey. For instance, today, when a researcher approached him during the examination, the subject allowed him to do so, and then bit a chunk of the staff member's face and proceeded to pummel him. Even after the researcher's head was a bloody pulp, he continued beating his body, only after nine minutes had the subject stopped and proceeded to ingest the victim's remains. Conducted tests show that the subject's heart rate has slowed down. Day 33. Subject shows no vital signs, heart rate, breathing, etc. And yet he still remains his motor capabilities and possesses extreme physical strength. This phenomenon is to be investigated further. Day 38. Subject managed to eliminate the entire security unit which came to escort him to the shower room. Security's been increased. Day 43. 
Subject no longer sleeps. He silently stands in his cell all day and all night, always staring at the door. When the researchers enter, he fixes his gaze on one of them. From prior results, when the subject locks eyes with someone, he may see it as a threat and assaults that person. Avoiding eye contact is highly advised. Day 50. Due to the subject's enormous strength, research teams are only going to be sent inside the cell during extreme emergencies. Day 76. Subject has been standing for four days without moving. Day 91. More and more live specimens are required to keep the subject satiated. Despite his enormous appetite and unmatched strength, he retains an emaciated appearance. Day 99. One of the researchers who came into contact with the subject's saliva has been feeling unwell. He was placed in quarantine and started showing the same symptoms as the subject. Further analysis is required. Day 108. Subject got out. During his escort to the shower, Subject managed to break free of his bond, and then assaulted and killed the entire research and security teams. Initially, security was ordered to restrain him, but tranquilizers and tasers proved ineffective, and using any kind of straps and nets were useless against his brute strength. Security units were then ordered to use lethal force, but the bullets did little to stop, or even make the Subject flinch. However, instead of killing his victims, the subject tackled them to the ground and vomited blood on their faces. He would then let them go. The person who came into contact with the blood or saliva of the subject started convulsing on the floor, before getting up and immediately adopting the exact behavioral patterns and physical strength of the subject, attacking others and vomiting blood on them, infecting them in the process. Despite the savage and primitive behavior and methods of attacking, the infected seemed to retain a form of intelligent thinking. Day 110. Everyone is dead, or transformed into a monster. The infected have opened the doors and escaped from the facility, but one still remains inside. Subject 0261 has been standing in front of my room since two days ago. Although the room is locked, he could easily bust through it, but I think he's toying with me. I think he wants revenge for the 108 days he spent in confinement. I know he can stand there for days, maybe even months, and I have no food or water in here. I could wait for help to arrive, but I doubt any will come. I spent my entire life pursuing greatness and trying to break human limits only to be destroyed by my own creation. I've probably doomed mankind in the process too. Whoever finds this, Find a safe place and go there with your loved ones, because they are coming. As for me, my time's almost up. I have a gun here, but I won't be using it on Subject 0261. Lisa, Maggie, forgive me. <laughs>